Hi, I'm Hassan Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how we can use animations with summary forms. So here, what we want to uh, achieve in this demo is to build an application that um, displays an animation for a grid. So here, for example, when I click this button, start animation, the grid starts to be animated by doing translations, rotations, and um, changing the value of the opacity. So the same here for the Android device. And the same animation is uh, done for also the Windows Store application. So how can we apply these uh, animations in Xamarin Forms? So here in my uh, home page, I have added that grid with the color purple and I added a button. When I click on that button, I want to uh, um, start the animation. For that here, I have the click it event. And inside the click it event, I display the animation. So how can we uh, now apply the animation in code? So actually, to do that, you need uh, the name of uh, the element you want to apply the animation on. In my case here, it's uh, the main grid. So I take this main grid and when I click the dot button I get the IntelliSense telling me that there is some uh, some methods I can use here and the, all these methods that um, ends with two or uh, can display animations. So let's uh, see for example translate to so this one will translate my element from point uh, X to point uh, Y or for, from point A to point uh, B. So the point A is the starting point which is the current position of my grid and the point B is the point you want to go to. And this we can specify this point by specifying the X and Y um, uh, parameters here. So let's say, for example, I want to translate by uh, 200x, for example, on the x uh, axis. And I want to also uh, translate by 300 on the y uh, uh, axis. So let's say 300. And they have a third parameter, as you might see here. The third parameter uh, is a lamp which will be uh, like um, um, the duration of the animation. So you want to do that translation in how much time? And the time is expressed in milliseconds. So for example, if I say, uh, for example, 1000, that means 1000 milli milliseconds, and that's a one uh, second. And they have another parameter, which is um, how so that my element will do a translation from point A to point B in one second. And now, in that one second, how to display the animation. So I have some options here, uh, which differs. Uh, for example, the animation starts fast, then it, begin, it, then, uh, it's, it's slowed down, or uh, the inverse, or it can slow down, then fast, then uh, come back to be uh, to down. So the the combination of all these uh, types of animations gives these um, this enumeration of type easing. So let's uh, try, for example, the linear one, which will uh, display the animation in um, let's say in a constant uh, speed. So here when I put the cursor on, on top of the translate to method, I get the hint here telling me that usage uh, boolean x equal await translate to. So here it's good to apply the await keyword on the translate to method. So I go here and apply the await. And with the await, of course, the method should be uh, a sync. So now let's try this 
this one. So here, let's try to uh, start this animation by clicking this button. Here it is, the translation by uh, 200 and the x y, the x uh, uh, axis, and 300 at the y uh, axis. So note here that uh, the y axis is from top to the down, not from the down to the top. So the same here for the Android device, the animation and for our Windows application. So now that this animation displays uh, a translation from point A to point B. There is some other uh, animations we can apply. So if I go and check the other ones, I get here, uh, for example, um, the rotate animation. So I can do a rotation. The rotate animation um, uh, accepts parameters of type uh, double, which will be um, the rotation of the element, the value of the rotation uh, in degrees. So let's say, for example, it's 90 uh, degrees. And then um, the duration of that animation, let's say, for example, is 800 uh, millisecond. And again, I can specify um, the speed or uh, how uh, that rotation will be done. So let's try um, sign out, sign out, for example. And again, this animation, uh, the rotate two, uh, should use the await keyword. Here, it's giving me uh, in the hint. It's telling me to use uh, the await keyword. So let's try it. So now I start the animation, it displays the translation, then the rotation of 90 degrees. Uh, something went wrong on the Android emulator. Okay, so now we saw how to apply translation and how to apply rotation. Let's say what are the other uh, animations I can apply on my grid. So let's say my grid. I have also the fade two. The fade two uh, will change the opacity of the main grid element. So at first, the main grid has an, uh, the default opacity, which is equal to uh, 1. So now I go and change that opacity to be 0, uh, 0.5, for example. And again, I, I can choose um, that uh, translation for, uh, for that transformation of the opacity from 1 to 0 0.5, how much time it will take. So let's say it's uh, 600 milliseconds and let's try now the cubic uh, out animation run it so now with the fade animation you see here that uh, the opacity changes for the, the grid Here it is. So now you saw how to do translation, rotation, changing the opacity. There is some other uh, animations we can see. So there is also, um, let's see, um, the layout too, which is important to know about. So the layout too. Um, um, do uh, some combination between uh, the translation. So here it tells um, where I want to place my uh, my main grid. So I can specify that by declaring a new rectangle. The rectangle has some 
uh, elements. So the, fir the first one is uh, the X, uh, which is of type double. So the X specifies the translation to go to. So for example, let's say here uh, it will go to um, minus 200 and minus 300. So we can come back to the first position. And here I have two uh, additional uh, element uh, parameters of type double. The first one is the width and the height. Those are the width and the height of the main grid. So here I can resize my main grid. So here I can apply a translation and also I can apply uh, a resize for the main grid. So my main grid first, uh, it has a width of 150 and high of 50. So I can go and change these, uh, these uh, values. Uh, let's say for example I want it now to be um, of uh, 300 as the weight and 100 for uh, the height. And let's try this now on, on our devices. Start the animation. Now it does the layout too, and you see here it come over the uh, the page title. Of course, you want you want that in your real uh, application. And you notice here that um, uh, the grid changes its size; it becomes uh, bigger. So actually, uh, the layout too, as it's a combination between. Um, the translate and the 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 resize we can um, we can apply only the resize by applying on the main grid applying um, the scale scale two so the method scale two enables me to do a scaling of the main grid that scaling will be uh, regular to the uh, width and to the height so I can go and tell it to scale to um, 0. Uh, um, 0.6 for example so what this does it go and um, change the width of the main grid to, uh, to be uh, 0 0.6 multiple the actual width and the same for the uh, the height of this grid of the grid sorry and I'm gonna say that animation takes 500 milliseconds and it uses the easing of um, of, uh, of cubic n for example So here I go and change this layout. The translation in Y will be minus 200, for example, so that it doesn't go over the title of, uh, of the screen. So let's run it now. So starting the animation, the rotation, fading, and now you see the scaling is applied after uh, the layout too. So now you see it. So here it is. So here we have displayed an animation by applying a combination of these um, five uh, methods, which are translate to, rotate to, fade to, layout to, and scale to. And you can apply these not only on uh, the grid, but you can apply them also on a button, on a list view, uh, on um, an entry, or any uh, visual element inside uh, Xamarin Forms. So I hope this video was um, good for you and thank you.